Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman, Lois, and Supergirl. We're going to be talking about some questions that you guys have sent in. So this is a Q&A video. We're going to be going into a lot of theories about the questions that you guys have asked. If you want to be featured in a Q&A video in the near future, please be sure to go to my community tab page and reply under my post that I just posted asking for new questions and you can be featured in one of these videos. Also before we go into this video I wanted to announce a new plan that I have and now this is to do with future live streams. So we're going to continue our live streams normally on a Sunday, that is the day that we're doing that. However, roughly about once a month I plan to do something very interesting, it's going to be an extra live stream and so what's going to happen is the members of my channel will be able to participate in one live stream roughly per month where it will just be like our member zoom calls but it will be more of a live stream because I'll be acting as a moderator basically asking what do you think of this this and this and our members will be able to be featured on the live stream I think that's a pretty cool idea it's something new that I've come up with hopefully it works obviously everyone who is a member can join so if you aren't a member of the channel please be sure to click the join button next to the subscribe button by clicking join you are supporting the channel and becoming a member you will have lots of cool perks including a monthly member zoom call that we do just talking with me and your fellow members plus this new live stream that I am planning to do. Hopefully it works, we'll see how it goes but for now let's go ahead and jump into this video. And just remember please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any future DCTV videos. So the first question is from Void Dragon on YouTube. Void Dragon asks, here's my question. How was Superman able to breathe and talk in space if he is supposed to only hold his breath for a super long time? So this is a good question. It's more of a technical question about the logistics of Superman and the way that he can breathe in space. So I don't know the ins and outs of him and his comic book history of being able to breathe in space. But I know Kryptonians are able to go out into space for a prolonged period of time. And I presume if you're talking about him going into the sun, he was probably able to breathe a bit longer because by going into the sun, he was absorbing all of that power and that yellow sun radiation that he's been boosted on his powers. So I don't think breathing in space is a problem when he is being boosted and leveled up that much. But if you're talking about like other times when he's been up in space and he's talking and he's able to breathe in space, yeah, I think if he talked for such a long time and he was just staying up there, you know, breathing and watching the earth, I guess, then I think he could run into some trouble. That's the kind of way that I look at it. I don't know if that is right or wrong. Again, I don't know the ins and outs of Superman's relationship to space in the comics. However, that's just my interpretation. So good question, Void Dragon. Let's move on to the next Supergirl slash Superman Lois related question. This comes from Jordan Patreon and Jordan asks Assuming Supergirl does exist in Superman Lois, do you believe she's stuck in the Phantom Zone and hasn't arrived yet or did she simply land somewhere else? And which scenario would work best for the show? Thanks for the question. I believe if Supergirl does ever show up on Superman and Lois, I think they will give an explanation like that. It could be that she's stuck in the Phantom Zone like you said, or it could be as simple as she hasn't arrived yet. She was just stuck in the Phantom Zone and it's taken such a long period of time for her to actually get out and escape from where she was. Or obviously she could have landed somewhere else and that's why Superman has never met her and maybe she didn't actually fully go into her powers because she wasn't exposed to that kind of lifestyle, especially on Superman Lois's Earth, with Superman being the only hero. There's not all too much inspiration to try and become a hero, I guess, on an Earth like this compared to other Earths because other Earths have a lot more heroes. And so in terms of which scenario would I think work best for the show, I'm going to say probably stuck in the Phantom Zone. I think that's the simplest explanation because we as Supergirl fans all know that her journey to Earth includes going through the Phantom Zone and we know she was stuck there for a while. That's why she didn't get to Earth at the same time as Clark. And so I think by using that same explanation, if Supergirl ever shows up on Superman Lois, 
no matter in what form, I believe that will be the explanation. Unless they have a Supergirl who just hasn't resurfaced and she's just been there, you know, as Kara Danvers living her life, similar to Kara on Earth Prime. However, she obviously developed her powers and became Supergirl at one point. So I would say the best scenario definitely is the Phantom Zone explanation. That is definitely the one that I would personally go for. Okay, so the next question comes from Isquenio Vlogs. I apologize if I said your name wrong. They say, if Superman doesn't have any other heroes on this earth, does that mean that they could use Cadmus to introduce a Superman clone? Like Superboy and have Clark meet Kara on a flight training mission with Jordan, or with him hearing the crash as seeing Kara, how do you think that would work? So, this is a good question. I think it's interesting that you are looking at the Superman Lois kind of retcons in a way that you can reuse stories from other shows like Supergirl because we know we had the Cadmus storyline and that was all to do with Hank Henshaw, Kara and Alex's dad and everything like that and so they could totally reuse that story and introduce like you said a Superman clone like Superboy or maybe a clone of Supergirl that could be a way to bring in Supergirl that would be very interesting. I think bringing in a different version of Superboy is interesting. I don't know if they're going to go the Young Justice route like that and introduce a new replica Superboy because this season we already had replicas of our characters, that being from Bizarro World, of course. And so they are basically clones, although they aren't literal clones, they are doppelgangers. So I would say the Cadmus angle is something that could totally happen because this is the whole point of having a clean slate. They want to be able to use whatever story they want, they want to use it in any way that they can and use any characters, even if they've been introduced in the Arrowverse previously. And so I would say that, yeah, definitely a Superman clone storyline could happen, but I don't think that clone would have the appearance of Jordan or Superman or Jonathan. I think it would be someone else, and that's why I like the angle of maybe it being a version of Kara, you know, a Supergirl clone would be interesting. And that would be an interesting way to bring in Lex Luthor, because if you guys have watched Young Justice, you know that Superboy, his clone, part of his DNA, obviously was from Superman, but part of his DNA was from Lex Luthor as well. So it would be interesting if they brought back John Cryer for such a storyline, and they could make it a Lex Luthor-centric cabin storyline. I think that would be a very, very cool way to go and introduce Lex to Superman Lois. Obviously, it doesn't have to be John Cryer, but it would be great to see him return to the Arrowverse. And obviously, they could recreate him in whatever way that they want because they've established that they aren't on Earth Prime. Okay, let's move on to the next question. This comes from Ambrose Rao on YouTube who asks, Because the Super Family created a Fortress of Solitude that is water-based, Will they most likely do that to the Atlanteans? When stuff like this happens, it opens up room for creatures under the sea. A Kryptonian tech fortress is just what Atlanteans need to survive and thrive as an empire. This is a good question. I don't know if we're going to be seeing Atlanteans anytime soon, but I do think you bring up a valid point talking about how this new fortress of solitude is underwater. What impact is it going to have? Are people going to run into it? Is it going to be quite obvious that this structure has just appeared out of nowhere in the middle of the ocean? So, at one point, could Atlanteans show up? Yeah, totally, like if they want to go down that storyline. But I would say it's a little bit far-fetched only because Aquaman is still making moves in the DCU. Obviously, he's got the second Aquaman coming out pretty soon later this year. And so with all of that going on, I don't think we're going to be seeing Atlanteans anytime soon. But maybe in the future, I wouldn't throw that away. But yeah, definitely the water-based Fortress of Solitude is an interesting thing. I can't wait to see what they do with it in the next season. Okay, let's move on to the last couple of questions. This one comes from Vicky Kent, who asks, Do you think Clark will let Jordan help him in some missions like Bizarro did with John L? So, yes, 100%, this is going to happen in Season 3 of Superman Lois. Clark is definitely going to let Jordan come out more and go on missions because in the last couple of episodes and later on in this season, in Season 2, he's been really proving himself as an aspiring hero and he's saved Superman's life on 
countless occasions as of right now. So I'm expecting in season three that we're going to be getting a Superboy suit at one point. It only makes sense that they're going to develop his storyline more, they're going to give him a suit, they're going to advance his powers, he's going to continue training, he's going to go on proper missions with Superman. I would be really shocked if they didn't do this because it seems this is the exact way that they are leading up towards. I don't really know what's going on with Jonathan, I don't know if they're going to somehow give him powers this season, but for now I would say he's probably going to be the more human based character who is obviously more related to someone like John Henry Irons with him not having powers but maybe Jonathan could get some sort of armor to help whenever he needs to help because obviously his family is always in danger. So once again need to reiterate yes I think Superboy is totally going to be on more and more missions in the next season plus he's definitely going to get a suit. I would be shocked if he didn't. Okay, so the final question comes from Emil on YouTube who asks, We have noted that Melissa's The Girls on the Bus, the new HBO Max series, is going forward into production, so a guest spot on Superman Lois as an actor or director seems unlikely in the near term. Even if she does eventually appear there as Supergirl, she'd have to explain Earth Prime vs Earth Superman Lois, how she got there, why she got there, etc. So that... It's just too awkward and probably never going to happen. So I think this is interesting and the reason I wanted to bring it up in this video is because we talked about Supergirl briefly in this video in various points and I think that with Melissa being busy with this new TV show, like I said in the video when I talked about this, I don't think Melissa is going to be coming back to Supergirl or the Arrowverse in general for a while. I don't know if she will ever return. But if she does return to Superman Lois as an actor or director, definitely not in the near term. It would be more along the lines of maybe the next two years rather than this year or, you know, this coming season. However, it must be noted that she does have a deal with Warner Brothers TV and so that means that she can totally come back and direct. Also, she can produce Arrowverse series if she wants to, but for now, it seems The Girls on the Bus is definitely the show for her. She's going to be starring in it, she is executive producing it, so she is fully involved in this and I think that's going to be her main focus for a long while as of right now. And yeah, definitely if she returned, they would have to explain how she showed up on Earth Superman Lois, as you call it, rather than being on Earth Prime. They would definitely have some explaining to do, but it's not like the Arrowverse has never explained something so crazy. So that is pretty much it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, and also turn on notifications to not miss any future videos, but for now you can click on the top right corner of the screen, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.